Hello everyone, today let's talk about key schedules and few strange things which I have found when I was working on my project recently. So, as you can see, there is a project, I have my rooms and I have my room style schedule in here where I have my key and I have some parameters and I have some values associated with these parameters. So, my key name is room 1 and then I have some floor finish, ceiling finish and wall finish. So, if I go in my project and I select the room and I choose my room style to be my room 1 which is the first key in my key schedule you can see that the ceiling finish, wall finish and floor finish is being driven by the value from this key you can see it by this equal sign in here next to the parameter that is being driven by this by this value from the key schedule so this is probably things you already know but there is one strange thing and that is that for example if you try to duplicate this view this key schedule you can see you cannot actually duplicate it the next for me strange behavior is that you cannot actually create a new key schedule with the same keys and with the same parameters inside of it why i am talking about this is that if, for example, someone will rename this to be a room schedule, you actually do not have any option to know like which one is the schedule for the keys. And because you can have only one key schedule for like particular parameters and particular keys, it is pretty hard that if you are working on a big project and someone doesn't have the hygiene, uh, to find which of the schedules is actually the one with the keys, which one is the key schedule. One of the things how you can find this, but you have to go like one by one, is to either like open it, or also you can see that with the key schedules you cannot actually filter. You can see if I go in here, and if I go to a normal schedule, you can see that here I have a filter tab but inside of my key schedule if I do the same you can see that there is no filter tab in here and that is also one limitation for me because like if you have many keys I would like to be able to filter it but you cannot actually so let's go back to our project and let's try to create a new schedule because you cannot find this key schedule and you want to create a new one for this wall finish, floor finish and ceiling finish. So if I go and I create a new schedule for my rooms and I'm going to schedule keys, you can see that now inside of my available fields I do not have these parameters available because they are already used in one key schedule. So you cannot actually create a new one with the same parameters so you are actually a little bit lost. So you have to find the original one to be able to modify it. Also strange thing is that for example if I go here with my department let's say hit OK and I will insert my new data here and let's write some xxx into my department so you can see I have created a new key name which is just number one and the parameter name here is the same the room style as the one in the original one you can see here room style as well so the parameter name is the same so I should be able to see it here in my room style. You can see I have my values from the first key schedule. So from here, room 1, room 2. Parameter name is room style. So here in my project, in my room, I have my room style. And I have my room 1, room 2. But as you can see, with the second key schedule, even though I have the same parameter name, the room style, and the key name is 1, I cannot actually find it here in my project in this drop down 
because it just ignores it. So you can only use the first created key schedule to control the keys and the values from the parameter for the key schedules. If I would go now and create a new one, let's go with my rooms schedule keys and I would go with the different key name. So for example, here the room style two. Still you can see I cannot use the fields which I have already used inside of some key schedule, but let's go with the comments in here. And let's create a new one and let's call this a 10 and the comments will be XXX. And if I go back to my project, to my room, now you can see that I have this room style two in here because this key schedule is the first key schedule created for this parameter type or for this parameter which is called room style number two. So as you can see, I have my key in here, the key number 10. But if I would go and create another key schedule for the same parameter, I would not have this here. So as you can see, if I go, for example, in here and change this parameter name from room style to room style two, and go back into my project. You can see now that I have my one in here, but I do not have my 10. And if I will go inside of my 10 and change this to be a room style three, so the new one all together and go back to project. You can see now, now I have my room style, room style two and room style three. So why is this all important is because if someone creates a key schedule inside of your project, you have to name it accordingly. And like the best thing to do for me would be to have like a proper area for only the key schedule. So like here you can see the typical schedule, the working schedule. So I would put one for the key schedules so that all of the people working on the same project on the center file will know that there are the key schedules and they should use them.